Thank you all for coming. Um, this is the biggest and best Turk tank ever with over $10,000 in prizes for our students. Um, so let's give that. So I'm Jay Smith. I'm the director of the program since its founding in 2010. And Turk Tank is the culmination of our two-year living learning program and our academic curriculum. As director of the program, I've been able to watch our students grow both in their program, in their lives here on campus, and much further beyond that as well. Over a series of four courses, our students learn to develop entrepreneurial mindsets, identify opportunities for innovation, and create valuable solutions to develop business models in a global context. And fun, finally, today and in their final course of the, of the sequence, they're challenged to design and present a for-profit business with social and or environmental impact. For this capstone project, the teams had just 13 weeks to go from problem identification and idea selection to product service development, to customer validation, <coughs> to market and operations plan, to the presentations you'll see here today. So um, if all of our students that are here right now, some are still in class, which is why this goes for three hours, um, could stand up and just be recognized. And so also we have some of our first year students and some of our alums, some who have been through this and our first year students to see this. You guys could stand up as well. And I think we're even supposed to have a few incoming students who are coming to the University of Maryland in the fall. So any of you here want to raise your hand? There we go. So welcome to our new I think I, I, I heard that a, a group of turtles is called a bale, so our newest bale of terps. So welcome to campus. Um, I'd also like to thank and recognize those next most important individuals here who helped nurture and prepare our amazing students for the years before they joined our program and the University of Maryland. So if our families, parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, uh, friends could please stand up. I want to recognize them as well. So it's, it's through your amazing hard work that we get these wonderful students that it's such a joy and pleasure to teach here while we're here on campus. Um, I've, been an I've been around a long time and I've been in education for now over 12 years, and these are some of the most amazing young individuals uh, that you will ever meet. And I'm just really pleased and proud to be able to work with them. So our next most important individuals in the audience, uh, if we had to rank them, <laughs> would be our sponsors. And if our sponsors could please stand. Um, or just raise your hand if you're not up for standing. <laughs> and we'd especially like to thank our sponsors, both our campus sponsors and our corporate sponsors and our individual sponsors, because they're not just you know, putting their money where their mouths are. They're actually putting their time where their mouths are. And, and, and it's just, they really worked with our students, um, both um, in co-curricular and curricular activities in the classroom, outside of the classroom, on projects, on mentoring, on case studies, and other experiential learning challenges. And so really it gives our students um, such a real world and a much more mature experience going through our program. I'd like to recognize a few of the important individual contributors um, as well as the companies. Um, so. Um, Right here in the second row, we have Phil and Darlene Cook from Telesis Partners. So Phil has been working with us as an entrepreneur in residence for the last year or so, and it's just been meeting with all of our students on their business ideas. Um, are Lisa and Bob Cusack here yet? From uh, they're coming up from Virginia, so it could be a while. 
Um, they're with custom software systems, and we did a really interesting uh, case competition with them in the last fall. Uh, Guy Miller, are you in the audience yet? No, I think part of the challenge is getting here during rush hour. So I, we actually are waiting on one judge, which is why I'm stretching a little bit here as well. <laughs> um, uh, so we also have another individual, uh, Adam Van Wagner, uh, who is an alum of the Hinman CEOs program, which we are, we are based. He was actually our first TA for the program way back in 2010, and founder of MyFridgeRental.com, which was a um, Cubits Cup winner for anybody from the Dingman Center here a number of years ago, and has been really a supporter and mentor for our students for, you know, for many, many years. Um, I'd also like to thank the gentleman who's not here today, but another representative from his company. So Matt Clark, the CEO of CoreCentric, and uh, how many of you are familiar with CoreCentric? So I'm going to do a little pitch. This is our sponsor. They are in the business process outsourcing space, um, but we do have Hugo Bord uh, Borda here. Where are you, Hugo? So um, who? Uh, is the senior vice president for technology and engineering, and you know they are they've stood up as a gold sponsor for the uh, for the program. So I'd like to thank you for coming as well. Uh, we've got a few other folks that I'm going to recognize when we get to uh, our break. Um, at if you look into the program, I don't have it up here. We we're going to have our break about 6:30 till 7 o'clock. Uh, for our students. And so now I'm at the point where I have to introduce our esteemed judges, and we have four out of five, so um, we'll see. Uh, I think that our, our last judge is somewhere parking now, which could take as long as getting here on the Beltway. Uh, we are losing many parking spaces here on campus. Um, so uh, if I can induce, introduce the judging panel, uh, let me just start down from the far right. Um, we have Jason Paragus, the Director of Innovation at Lawrence Livermore Labs, National Labs, and so, so let's welcome Jason. I'm going to skip over one spot, and I'm going to, I've been practicing this all day. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I have Emily Bruno, um, who is the co-founder, and I noticed we don't, you know, we really were trying to get some supplies here on campus, the co-founder and director of business operations for Denison's Brewing Company in Silver Spring. So if you haven't been over there yet, I, I've heard it's wonderful, and we may be going over as a group afterwards. You guys all ready for that? Um, so we we'll have to welcome Emily. Now here's the one I've been practicing. It's Veronique Maillet, who is the executive director of the Bethesda Green Incubator in Bethesda, which is uh, focused a lot on kind of social, green social. green social startups and has been around since eight years, eight years now. So let's welcome Veronique. <laughs> and on the end, we have a Mr. Andrew Fink, the CEO, COO of DC Central Kitchen. And so, how many of you have, have heard of DC Central Kitchen? Look at these hands behind you. We actually used the book uh, about DC Central Kitchen and its founding by Robert Egger called Begging for Change in our capstone course. So everybody that's gonna be presenting today has been influenced in part by the work of DC Central Kitchen. So. We'd like to welcome you here as well. So, as to the schedule and our students and getting the ball rolling, um, as we are kind of still stretching a little bit, <laughs> um, we have two sets of presentations with a networking and food break in between because entrepreneurship is nothing if not about networking. Uh, and right on cue, as we were finishing our fourth judge's introduction, we, have, we are glad to have join us uh, Bruce McNamer, um, the president and CEO of the Community Foundation for the National Capital Region. And so Bruce, 
just in time supply here. We like that a lot. So welcome. So let's all give Bruce a applause. Uh, so again, we have two sets of presentations, and let's see if I can find them here. Um, partly because our course runs at two different times, and some of our students actually have exams after this. So you'll see some that are presenting earlier may have to run off to their exams. Um, we are still in the class year. And um, each team will have four minutes to present, with three minutes of Q&A from the judges. At four minutes, our timekeeper, who is our, our front row, will stop them, and we actually have a cowbell here in case they go over. This is the only program on campus with more cowbell, cowbell than anything else. So we have a cowbell to stop them. All right, blew that joke. <laughs> um, and then we will, so we'll do seven teams. As the judges deliberate, uh, we'll have a break. They'll come back to the remaining six teams. And as the judges deliberate, there'll be an opportunity for an audience choice vote that we'll be doing electronically uh, using your cell phones. And the winner of the audience choice won $1,000 for, their, uh, for their team. So I'd like to ask that everybody please mute your cell phones, because the only sound I want to hear other than the students presenting is the cowbell. <laughs> um, and, we'll, and if the judges are ready, we'll bring up our first set of teams. Thank you very much.